Hi guys, in this lecture we will talk about radio button. Radio button is somewhat similar to checkbox, but at a time we can only select one button. Let me show you. This is the bootstrap website again. This is the radio button. Uh, I believe you might have seen this when we select the gender or marital status. We give the options like uh, married, single or bachelor or divorced, something like that, right? So at a time, user can select any one option only, right? And one option is only one option is valid. So for that type of use cases, we can give the radio button uh, to just choose to, to use our right. If we have to design the radio button using HTML, then this is how we can design. We can use the input and we can just provide a type radio. This is the way. If we have to do the same thing in out systems, let's see. This is the out system service studio. I have created an application already. I have created the screen as well and I have given the title. So let me just see radio button. So radio, radio, radio group. We have radio group here, not exactly the button. So I will require to drag and drop. By default, we get three option. We'll say option. Uh, we can remove or add more options as well. So we'll just design the same thing: uh, married, bachelor, and uh, divorce. Right? We'll we'll just ask user to check his uh, marital status. Okay. So let me click here. Let me go to widget tree. This is my group. Be, uh, above the group, I will just give a text message. Um, by default, it add below and select the select marital status. Okay, select marital status. Right. It is giving error because let's see why it is giving error. So we'll have to see the property. So we have two things here. One is radio group and one is radio button. Both are the different thing, right? Under radio group, we may have multiple buttons. So this is the complete group that is associated to the marital status final value. And this is the individual option. So individual option will, will have the uh, variables and the group will also have the variable. So whatever will be the final um, check whatever user will check whichever option user will check that will be the final variable and that will automatically uh, assign to the radio button group variable so let me just create the uh, status variable right so marital status marital status it will be text and under the group we will just set that whatever user select that will be assigned to marital status now, other things, let's see the other properties. Mandatory, you know, right? If it is mandatory, it means if we are using this particular thing in form, then user will require to select any of the value. It will be a mandatory property. Enable, if it is enabled, user will be able to select. If it is enabled, it, it is not enabled. If it is false, then user will not be able to select. We can also uh, uh, write an expression to get the value true or false. So, Conditionally, we can make it enable or disable based on that. Let me just close it. Style class, you know the style class property, you know, and on chain properties, you know. These are non mandatory things. We'll see that. Under the radio button group, here also we require a variable to just uh, uh, show, right? Uh, uh, to just show or you know, what I will say, let me just uh, um, frame this. When user will click this particular uh, option, this particular value will be assigned to this uh, radio button group. Not variable, sorry, my bad. It is value. So whatever value we will define, it can be this hard-coded value or it can be the dynamic value. Uh, we can write an expression or we can derive from the expression or we can select any variable as well. But for this particular case, it will be a hard-coded value. So for option one, We'll just assign um, bachelor, right? Bachelor, I just excuse me if I am writing the wrong uh, spelling. And this is the just text. So in this text as well, we'll just show the bachelor. Bachelor, I believe this is the correct spelling. This will be married. 
and this will be divorced. Kindly excuse if spelling is wrong. Here we'll just set the value uh, married, and here we'll set the value divorce. Simple. Okay, worst perfect. Now we'll handle the check event. If so, for this particular scenario in this in this uh, chapter, what we'll do, we'll just show the um, status value what user has selected. So we'll handle the on change event of the group. So whatever action user will perform in this group, uh, um, uh, it will just trigger that particular event and whatever action we have defined to handle that event it will just uh, execute that and whatever we have written there that will get executed so let me just uh, create one uh, um, handler this is our handler and here we'll just show the value what user has selected the marital status marital status let me publish and let me show you so simple use case um, it is very straightforward to use that uh, but the main thing is we can also achieve the same solution with the checkbox. But uh, if we are giving three checkboxes, user can select all the three. But if we have a scenario where we want to restrict the user to select any of uh, the three checkboxes or three buttons, radio button is the perfect solution for that. Otherwise, we will have to apply or write our own validation logic if user has selected one, it should not allow to select or if user select the second one, it should uncheck the first one, un unselect the first one or uncheck the first one. So let's see, let's have a look. It's simple, behind the screen, when we are dragging and dropping the widget behind the screen, out systems convert that in the HTML page only and uh, uh, it just convert in this radio button, what we see here in the bootstrap so if i select this bachelor is selected married is selected divorce is selected you see so in actual use case when we'll use this in a form uh, whatever we'll select here that will be assigned to marital status and then we can use this marital status to to just uh, send this uh, variable to server and to store in database or perform any validation in whatever way uh, we can use as per our requirement and the logic flow. So that's it guys. I hope you understand. Thanks for watching.